10, the original hula chair. What's that? This one seems pretty tame for a list like this, but have you seen how violently these chairs move and how hard the models need to work to look casual? The hula chair is an absolutely crazy exercise machine that is supposed to mimic the movements of hula dancers to help people lose weight and trim down. It's marketed for the busy or well, lazy. So all you need to do is sit down on the chair and go about your day as normal. It can be used at work, while watching TV, or during any other seated task. In fact, the chair is even motorized so there's minimal effort on the consumer's part. Although that probably reduced the device's actual benefit. The actual actors in this infomercial definitely deserve their money, as from their faces we can tell that they were pretty worried at any moment they might get flung off the damn thing and get killed. Number 9. Potty Potter Where to begin? Thanks to our good friend Capitalism and the fact that anyone can make a TV ad, you can now buy your own dollar store quality mini golf game. For the low price of way more than the dollar store. On top of that, this one is specifically designed for use while you're on the toilet, and is marketed as a way to practice your golf skills while you do your business. Watching this infomercial, it feels like a satirical sketch than a sales pitch. I mean honestly, who spends that much time on the toilet? I guess we can be thankful that the makers of this decided to go with golf and not a potty based baseball set. So we guess that all things considered, golfing is definitely the sport most at home in the bathroom. No disrespect, I golf myself. Either way, the infomercial is still pretty funny to watch. It's only for the sheer stupidity of the product. If on the off chance that the potty potter is your style, be sure to combine it with the hula chair for that ab workout of the century. Number 8. Rejuvenique Electric Facial Mask How often do you do sit-ups? What about face sit-ups? What are face sit-ups you ask? Well, we have no clue, but if you buy this electrical face mask, you can do 8 of them per second from the comfort of your own home. The design of this mask is terrifying and it looks more like a Halloween costume than a beauty product. And honestly, we can't believe the infomercial masks sell anything other than a nightmare. The mask is meant to work by stimulating your facial muscles with impulses and moves between zones that are designed to target problem areas of your face. We don't know what that means, but it's obviously ambiguous for a reason. To add to the horror of this product, at first glance the inside of the mask has what looks like a bunch of nails in it, giving it a very Iron Maiden medieval torture aesthetic. Number 7. Comfort Wipe You might be thinking to yourself, is this a stick that you put toilet paper onto the end and wipe your butt with? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is. The product looks like a toilet brush with a small amount of toilet paper on the end. According to the announcer, it's meant to be more sanitary when wiping your butt. The voiceover seems to actually believe what they're saying, which is impressive given the absurdity of the idea. Apparently toilet paper is archaic and out of style, but we don't think sticking it on the end of a plastic stick makes it any more modern. We wonder if perhaps 10,000 years ago someone put leaves at the end of a stick and thought, ah, this is stupid, and we're just now reliving it. The best part of this infomercial is of course the paid actors, each representing a stereotypical personality, including a posh woman who uses the product to help maintain her dignity, and a big guy who can't quite reach by himself. Number 6. Shake Weight Ah, finally. A weight that does not need to be moved or lifted in order to get its benefits, right? This isn't just fantasy, right? Ah, uh, well, you're wrong. Very, very wrong. The purpose of this product is the same as most infomercial exercise tools, to help people get fit without any actual work or effort. You're meant to just hold the weight and, well, give it a little shake, apparently activating your muscles. Is that technically true? Probably, but breathing also uses your muscles, as does thinking, and thinking about how ridiculous this product is. And while doing all those, you're probably getting more exercise than actually using the product. This product's largest flaw, and also the reason why it shouldn't be used in public, is that it kind of resembles holding someone's hot dog, for lack of a better term. Which you probably don't want to do in public. Due to this resemblance, the shake weight is a classic gag gift at parties, and we have a feeling that's the only reason why any of them are sold. Number 5. Cush Support 
No, it's not a 24 hour weed hotline or anything to do with your butt, but somehow it's even weirder. Cush support is a plastic tube thing that women can put between their breasts while they sleep on their sides. Now, this one can actually be useful, but we have no idea why it's called Cush support or why the design has to be so ugly or why it's so expensive. Oh yeah, it's an infomercial. There is no way to sell this item without some sort of awkwardness. The infomercial is full of busty women in pajamas, which we guess would appeal to some viewers, but probably not the ones who need the product. For some reason, the creators feel the need to specify that it works for all breast implants and larger breasts and pregnant women. Okay, so why didn't they just say all women then? It appears as if the makers themselves are unsure of the specs of their product. That or they're being intentionally unclear. Number 4. Euro Club This is the perfect item for men who golf and have to pee a lot. You can discreetly urinate into the handle of this golf club. Who needs an actual bathroom, right? There are so many problems with this that we don't even know where to begin. First of all, pulling it out in public maybe? Um, how did no one think of that? Also, any real golfer would notice how cheap the club is. It looks like a toy. Best part is they advise that you stick it under a towel for discretion. Because come on, doesn't this thing just scream discreet? You might as well just use the towel and not the club. If you're on a damn golf course, just piss in the woods or ride a golf cart to the bathroom. If that's not enough, maybe consider adult diapers. Seriously. The quality of this infomercial is just as bad as many others on this list, and features second grade actors who appear more cheesy than realistic. Number 3. Facial Flex To be honest, we're not really sure what the facial flex is meant to do. The infomercial doesn't explain it too well, or maybe it's because it doesn't actually do anything. Looks like it's supposed to make your lips… stronger? Maybe? The woman who's selling the item just jumps right in, explaining that her friend looked great because of this product, but not why. She appears to be majorly drugged up or on Botox, and it's not showing any sort of emotion. The music is crazy too, it's probably meant to calm you, and we don't know about you, but operatic music with a middle aged lady moaning seems more distracting and irritating than calming. The sexual vibes in this video are creepy and not at all helped by how drugged up the actress looks. We're disturbed, you're disturbed, and there's probably someone in the comments getting off to this. Number 2. The Gazelle Now, the Gazelle may look like a real product, and it might even be one, but the infomercial with Tony Little is cringeworthy to the extent of the word. Tony goes absolutely berserk on the machine, and he works so damn fast it honestly looks way too easy. On top of that, he gets a little bit too close with his co-star as well. She looks like she can hardly contain her awkwardness at times, and often uses laughter to mask her discomfort. Truly a good old fashioned infomercial with a nice mix of an odd product, with an odd seller, and a good dose of general uncomfortableness. The product is so generic that it is almost a miracle that they came up with an infomercial at all, especially with how little this costs. $15 for a gazelle and a workout tape. Oh no, wait. That's for a 30 day trial, not the product itself. In fact, the actual price isn't even mentioned in the advertisement. But it's probably crazy expensive and makes most its money by tricking consumers into keeping it past 30 days. All things considering, it's still worth watching just for Tony's beautiful, luscious hair and over the top enthusiasm. Number 1. The Nads Bearded Lady This product is crazy. The infomercial is just not very good. The product is meant to help women remove unwanted facial hair, but it doesn't tell you exactly what the actual product is until almost halfway through the ad. And then they tell you it's a gel, when it's actually hair wax, meaning the information wasn't even accurate. The whole infomercial is just one woman's experience, and she mostly talks about another ad for this product. This one isn't even funny to watch, and it's so poorly made, and we honestly can't believe that it was proved to air. 